Well, greetings. I'm back with another iRacing race. This time it's a bit different. We're recording it live. I'm talking and racing at the same time, which could keep things a bit more interesting. Might make things a bit more difficult for me. This is my third time lucky attempt at this. The first two, the audio failed miserably and uh, had to scrap them and start again. Uh, in those two races, I finished fourth both times and uh, didn't qualify. This time we'll see what happens. We'll see if talking causes me to wreck out or whether I can keep the car on the road and actually finish the race. Who knows? I think it is in this first lap. Here are the lights, everyone's gridded. So we just wait for the red and then green. There's red. Green, green, green! Let's go, go, go! Trying to be too crazy into this first turn. He's obviously got a terrible start, so we can jump him. So the guy's not done that well either. But he's on our right hand side now, so we'll have to take it easy on his first turn. Keep out wide. Stay on the left. I will. Clear on the right. Coming to the inside to defend my line now. I think we made a place up there on that. First straight. Break early there, just so we don't get involved in any incidents on this first lap. As long as I can defend against the guy behind me. Lift here. Again, just taking it easy on this first lap. Don't want to make any mistakes. Obviously, we're not taken out by anyone behind us either. To keep an eye on that rear view mirror. As well as what's going on in front of me, you need to be aware of everything, anything and everything on this first lap. The danger lurks at every corner. So hopefully this is going to be a success because I've done this twice already and failed. Oh, okay, we're going to slow down there because I don't like the look of that. <laughs> Hopefully the guys behind me aren't going to get a run because I braked early. I think I've done enough of an advantage over them, but that's not going to cause me any issues here. There's a gorgeous guy on the right, on the inside here. I don't want him to dive bomb me. I'm just going to try and do. Right side. Because he's an idiot. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Clear. Quite sure what he's trying to do. We'll try and get him back on the inside again. Well, we lost the place to him, but the other guy in front went off, so we're exactly the same as we were in terms of position. There's another car there on the inside that's gone off. Don't know if you saw that, it was in my left hand monitor I've got triple screens and I'm playing on and you're only seeing footage from the centre one and I saw the car in the wall on my left there as I went past. It's one of the advantages of having three screens, you have a lot more awareness of what's going on around you. I'm pretty happy with that, let's see what we did time wise on that lap. You're in fear. But then we had a bit of issues on the first corner, so it probably wasn't the fastest we could have gone on that lap. We're in the top five though, and there's been something in that first corner. I see someone going off wide there in the mirror. Let's come out wide here to take this turn. It's very easy to get that wrong make a real mess. It's very easy to get most of the corners wrong to be fair. We've got some interesting action going on up there. He really wants to get past. And as we know he was pretty aggressive towards me in that first corner. So if I was that red car I'd be very careful right now. Could end up getting punted off. But them fighting 
has enabled me to catch up a little bit. Probably get the wrong on him down here into his first turn. Well, Tony apparently isn't being a very nice person, but. The next car's the leader. Hard to say. Why is the next car the leader? Oh, he had an off. He was, he was the leader, he's not anymore. So where do we come out of that? In You're now down? in third. We're in the top three, so obviously there was an incident in that uh, previous lap that I wasn't a witness to, which has put us up into the top three. Very nice. Take those three positions all day long. Thank you very much. Got to keep up with these two now if I can. Oh, touch the grass there. Did you see? <laughs> I really saw it get a bit squirmy on me then when I touched the grass. It can be fatal if you're not careful doing that sort of thing. I don't know what split we're in here. I know the race did split. I'm probably quite a long way down in the splits because my eye rating isn't that high at the moment. I'm working on it, but you know, it's not easy. He's gone well wide there, what's he going to do when he comes back on? He's going to lose it, gives us second place. Just need to race sensibly, not do what he did. Try and maintain our position. He's all over the place there as well. Okay, you're in second, good job. Not sure if that's him or whether it's a bit of net code. Hopefully it's him because we really don't want net code causing me any issues. Don't expect to catch this guy really unless he makes mistakes. He was quicker than me much more aggressive than I would have been in that first corner when he came down my inside. If I was equally as aggressive we'd have both ended off the track. Hopefully that sort of driving style is the sort of person that makes mistakes. So we should just play it cool. make some gains later on if we're lucky. Just got to maintain that gap to the guy behind me who's 3.7 seconds behind at the moment. We even better extend it but you know that's easier said than done. You got 10 laps to go. Ten laps remaining, we're five laps down, it's a third of the way through the race. Whoa, that wasn't clever. It felt strange that corner. I don't know if I braked early and then get on, didn't get on the gas soon enough. It just felt a bit scrappy. It's easy to do after you've been through a few laps to uh, let the concentration drift. Make silly mistakes like that, it's very simple, very easy to do. Miss your breaking point and the next thing you know you're flying into the wall and that's your race over. That's why doing this live commentary is not easy. And I made a little mistake there. Get away to four seconds in front now, and the guy behind me has pulled a second in on me nearly. So I need to watch this. Try and take, make that gap back up to three seconds. Sorry, four seconds. Caught 
being side curb there, which isn't great. That does slow you down. If the wheels aren't on the track accelerating like that when your car's in the air after hitting the curb, you're not going as fast as you could be. In fact, it's definitely quick. Well, quicker than me. A good average lap for me is about a 120, high 127. So I'm not brilliant. I think my fastest lap is a 126.8. But uh, yeah, I average around a 127.8 normally, something like that. Last lap was a 127.5 looking down there. I think the guy in third, in third had an issue because um, the guy behind me is now six seconds behind and it says he's fifth. So maybe third and fourth had a bit of an issue. Don't know, but whatever it is, it helps me. Slightly better on that corner. We've got a lap car 28 seconds down the road. Doubt we'll catch up with him, depends how slow he's going, but that's a fair way. Should be alright with that. Depends where the other guys that went off rejoin us. Depends where they rejoin the track. It could end up causing me some problems. Leading us six seconds ahead. Apex not too bad, it's going to come out a little bit wide but it should hold it, yeah. That was alright. seconds to the car behind, seven seconds to the car in front. It's a pretty healthy gap buffer either way, as long as I don't make any mistakes, which can easily happen. I've made plenty in my time. I can't think if I had any penalty points yet, or if I had enough track or anything. Don't think I have. So, so far we're running a clean race, which is nice good if we can keep that up for the safety rating. I'm currently in a C class. Been eye racing for about four months now. Still sticking with the Mazda at the moment, haven't really driven anything else. Had a go in the Skippy briefly, just to see what it's like. And uh, need to do a more practice than that. I can compete, definitely. It's a pretty tricky car to keep on the road, that one. And I've done a little bit of oval, but not very much. Although I took myself out of rookies, and that's about it so far. On the oval side. It was more fun than I was expecting it to be, but uh, the road racing is where my heart lies, I think. I'm sure I'll dabble in it from time to time. For the most part. It's the roads. 
just to decide where I'm going to go after the Mazda. I'm thinking the Skippy might be the one to go for the Skip Barber. Either that or the full spec racer. I think that's what it's called. And there's the two options. I quite like the idea of doing open wheel though, so I might go for the Skip or Skippy. for a little while longer yet, yeah. just to hone my race craft. This is a nice little uh, car, it understeers quite a bit. You've got five laps to go. But it's alright. So the gap to the guy behind me is now 4.8 seconds, he's closed it a little bit. But nowhere near enough for me to worry about at the moment. Five laps to go, he's got to close it by, well, nearly a second a lap, which he probably won't do unless I make a mistake. Which we'll see. And even if he does close the gap, he's still got to actually overtake me. Which isn't easy on this track. It's only a, really a couple of overtaking places on this track. And in the S's, which we're just approaching now, it's not really one of them. This whole section of corners is quite tight. A little short runs. You can't really do much through here, unless you're capitalising on someone else's mistake. Just again caught the curb there, which I don't really want to be doing. He's four seconds behind. Just see my rear view mirror then. But uh, I'm not going to panic just yet. To be honest, oh, we're going to get our first off track maybe? No, managed to just hold that. Third and fourth are likely to be fighting anyway. Sorry, uh, third and fourth are going to be having a fight. With any luck. The car stopped ahead. The pitting now. Oh, the leader's pitting. That means he must have had a mistake, which means that's put me in for the uh, first place. For now. Unlucky Barry, mate, you had some good speed. I'm not sure I'm going to hold on to first with William breathing down my neck, or he will be in a couple of laps time. It's going to be close. Barry, who's just crashed out, so I can do some measures of support there. I have my work cut out to hold on to this for the win, though. It would be very nice. But um, if I'm being realistic, I don't think it's going to happen. Two and a half seconds. You're in first. Very slow through that corner. It's not going to help me. I think if William does catch up to me, I'll put up a little bit of a fight, but it's going to be silly to take too many risks. What's more the worry is that Stuart Bailey is not far behind him. I could end up finishing third, which would be a real shame. It if they started fighting them to each other, for my sake. Give me a bit more breathing space. So I'm going to do for 
about that last, it was at 127. This lap, got two laps to go. Seven, seven. Two laps to go. He's down only a second behind me. It's pretty hairy. If I can hold on to this, it'll be a miracle. Definitely quicker than me, but can I defend? That was messy as well. Losing valuable tensions here in every every single corner at the moment. It's leaving me open. Now third's going down the inside. This could help me. He's made the pass. That was a good pass. Now I've got one second lead to defend in this final lap. Ooh, I'm nervous, I won't, I won't, I won't lie. One more Pretty lap nervous to now. One more lap to go. Just keep it clean on this lap and we'll have the victory. That's one corner down. Just keeping an eye on them behind me there. I really should concentrate on the road ahead though. Oh, come on. Let's not screw it up now. That would be very sad. Let's take it easy through there. Brake nice and early. It's not a bad corner. Barry's congratulating me already, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, Barry. Don't jinx it for me. You have to go defensive here, I think he's only half a second behind me. But we should come out on top. Yes! It's a win! What a result. Oh, I'm happy with that. Thanks very much, guys. That was a great race. Didn't expect to win that at all. But, uh, you know, these things happen. Good race. You Thank won. you. Unlucky Barry. You drive a great race. Let's do our victory lap. Stuart, if you had one more lap, you'd have probably taken me, mate. But, uh, unlucky. So there we have it, hopefully that's turned out successfully on my third time lucky. Third time lucky of recording it, third time lucky I win the race. They say you cut the course, you'll have to slow down and give up the time gained. Why not? Oh, well, we picked up two penalty points there for going off track, but what the hell? We won the race. Excellent. Let's bring it to the pits, bring it back home. It's a 45 kilometer speed limit and I'm doing 30 and it's telling me to slow down. Oops, missed the pit box.
thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if, you, if it worked out, I'll do some more. Cheers for watching. Bye.